Good afternoon. Model Learning Management System Student Video Guide. My name is Mafur Altenaus, e-learning management system coordinator. In this video guide, you will be introduced to the basics of participating in an online course or as part of your regular class. So by starting, let's see how to log in in to Model. Simply visit the college business education website and in the service link click the service link and select the e-learning system the login page of the learning management system will be displayed as shown here and you will be provided you will be requested to provide with your username and the password remember the username here you're supposed to type your registration number and the password here, supposed to type the default password, which is 2018 at CBE, the question mark and the underscore. Remember the password is 2018 at the CBE, question mark and underscore. The initial letter of CBE, the C, supposed to be capital letter, while the other letters BE is a small letter. And then click sign in. So after successful login, you will be forced to change your password instantly and required to put a complex password. As you can see over here, you must change your password to proceed. So here, the password must have at least eight characters, at least one digit, at least one lowercase letter, at least one uppercase letter, and at least one non-alphanumerical character. So in the current password here, just type the default password, which is 2018 at CBE, the question mark, and the underscore. In the new password here, just type your own password. Remember that the password must have at least eight character, at least eight character mixed up with capital letters, with small letters with numbers and symbols. And in here, the new password, just type your password. Just type your, your password. I mean here, the new password, type your, just type your, your password. And in new password again here, retype the same password which you have typed in the new password. Make sure this password are matching. So after providing your current password and the new password, just click save changes. Click on what? Click in save changes so as you can see over here the password has been changed so click the continue button the home page displays a contained list of all your model courses you are enrolled these are the courses you are enrolled in, in learning management system to my side here these are my courses which i'm supposed to start so i can see over here operating system configuration, system analysis, and design, and others. So here, click in one of the subjects to see the uploaded teaching materials by your lecturer. So here, my side, I'll click the operating system configuration. As you can see over here, <clears throat> the lecturer has already provided with the instructor profile, with the model description, with the sub-enabling outcome one, introduction to operating system, and others. So for the case here, I want to orient you guys on how to submit an assignment. So over here, if you want to submit your assignment, just click on your assignment, to the, the, on the title of your assignment. For instance here, I'll click individual assignment. And the, the individual assignment, as you can see here, there is a submission status over here, which provided some instruction or for some details over here. Submission status, as you can see, is not attempt. The grading status is not graded. The due date, this is the deadline date for submission of your assignment. 
time remaining, as we can see, still we have time to, to attend to your assignment. So in order to get your assignment, just click on individual assignment. Then this, the assignment will come at this, whereby you can download or you can open direct over here. So for my case here is you have to download it and attempt it. And after attempt it, just come here and submitting your assignment. So as you can see here, there is an event submission comment whereby you can provide your comments, which can be supported with your assignment submission. So over here, just come and to add the submission in order to, to submit your assignment. And bear in mind here, you've already attempted your assignment, so now you want to submit. So after clicking the submission button, then come over here, whereby you can have your individual assignment, as you can see over here, your know, individual assignment is whereby now you are supposed to attach with your individual assignment which you have already attempted. So clicking the file here to attach your assignment. And then choose file. So in choosing file, locate the assignment where you kept in your computer. It can be where you saved in your computer or you have any flash, whatever the place you, you, you report to your assignment. So for my case here, individual assignment, double click it. So you can see over here, the individual assignment is already attached to your, to your file picker. And then you click upload this file. Click what? Upload this file. So you can see over here, before you accept the changes or save the changes, you can see here the assignment is already attached. So click on save changes in order to save your file. Click on what? On save changes. As you can see here, now, the individual assignment has already attached it. Now you can see the submission status. The submission status, now read the, the I mean, the submission status, as you can see over here, it's provided some explanations on submission status. You can see here, submitted for grading. The assignment is submitted for what? For grading. Now, the grading status is not graded, just waiting for your lecturer, for your lecturer to mark it and provide the grade of your assignment. The due date, as you can see here, still here the time for the deadline of your submission of your assignment. The time remaining, the last modified, up to the first submission. So you can see here now, your assignment has already been submitted for, it's already submitted for your lecture to mark and provide the grading of your assignment. So as you can see here, if you still you have submitted your assignment, you still have some time here. You can even edit the submission by reviewing the assignment and submitting it once again. So this is how you can submit your assignment. And for the case now you want to see, now you want to confirm if your assignment has already been submitted successful. What you're supposed to do is just come to your subject, come to your subject, the, the, the operating system configuration, and go back to the assignment, which you've already submitted. Now you want to see if the assignment to confirm if the assignment has already submitted successful. Click back to your individual assignment. And you can see here the submission status. Right? Submission status here, it indicates that the assignment is already submitted for grading. So now you are assured that you've already submitted your assignment successful. So this is just some steps on how to submit your assignment. And if you remember, we started on how to log into learning management system and how to change your password. And now how you can access the content or the courses which you enroll and how you can submit your assignment. And now you can confirm that your assignment has been submitted successful. So this is, this is just a, a short instruction, a video instruction on how you can submit your assignment and how you can change your password through the learning management system. Thanks for the listening. And the, once again, remember that to take care of yourself and remember that Corona kills. Goodbye.